So I was talking a little bit uh, about, um, well, mind control in particular, and something that I worked on, uh, and I'm not proud of, but uh, it's called the Voice of God weapon. They used it, I believe, in the Gulf War uh, to tell the enemy at that time, lay down your guns, this is all up. And it worked pretty well. And this technology can also be used to mimic spiritual experiences. Joy, love, peace that passes understanding can all be induced artificially by this technology to make the target believe that they are having a genuine spiritual experience when they're not. This use of the technology uh, was famously made public during the war on terrorism as the United States of America utilized it against so-called enemy combatants in places like Iraq and Afghanistan, where people being held hostage by the American military had voice to skull beamed into their heads and the targets there believed that they were actually hearing the voice of God and they believed that Allah himself was telling them to cooperate with the Americans and tell them everything that they want to know. Confirmation from China on the same technology. This is from the official Chinese Communist Party news daily, people.com.cn. After the incident, the US military commander learned through preliminary interrogation that the armed men heard the voice of the prophet who asked them to lay down their weapons and surrender. In fact, this is only the effect produced by electromagnetic weapons. This is from Chinese official newspaper. Brain control weapons can make the enemy kill each other. This is from the CCP official mouthpiece. I am being targeted by voice to skull weapon, which is also known as voice of Allah slash God weapon. This technology beams voices directly into the human brain from hundreds to thousands of kilometers away using a scientific phenomena called microwave auditory effect or radio frequency hearing.